What's going on guys, it's Asal, and today we're taking a look at some of the changes to Roadhog that went live on the PTR earlier today, which unsurprisingly target his hook. Now the changes are that the cooldown of the hook has been increased by 2 seconds, that's from 6 seconds up to 8 seconds, and the targets are now hooked 3.5 meters away from Roadhog up from 2 meters, so a little bit further away, and though to somewhat counterbalance this, the spread of his primary weapon has been decreased by 20%. This is a pretty big deal, as since Roadhog's weapon has a pretty significant spread, an extra meter and a half results in quite a bit less damage being dealt to his target. Now there are still quite a few heroes that can be one shot by Roadhog, but there are a handful such as Hanzo, Sombra, and I believe Mei that can survive being hooked and shot, but there are actually some really great videos out there that showcase this fact, I believe there's one from Overwatch Central that went up earlier today. But low health heroes surviving being hooked only happens if you remain stationary, as if you walk forward during the hook animation, you can close the gap slightly which allows you to still earn that one shot kill on most low health heroes. Now I haven't tested every hero myself, I believe it should still be the case, but I'm not entirely sure, but also walking forward will get you within melee range, so you can still do the shot melee combo, but you just have to make sure you walk forward, but overall this is still a net reduction in damage that can be done with the hook shotgun combo, as you are still able to walk forward to get closer to your target in the previous patch. And note that while the reduced spread of 20% does help Roadhog in these situations in doing more damage up close, as I mentioned, the increased distance from his target still does result in a net loss in damage output when hooking an enemy. One of the biggest effects of this nerf is not only the fact that some heroes can no longer be one shot, but rather the fact that Roadhog's effectiveness against other tanks is less so. Now the increased distance is quite a significant factor and it should be good to help balance out the fact that Roadhog can currently decimate other tanks quite handily such as D.Va for example. D.Va is very weak to Roadhog right now so this nerf I think is a really good thing because I'm kind of a bit of a D.Va main. But we can agree that this is indeed a nerf to Roadhog's hook. It isn't all bad as the 20% reduction in spread has a huge effect on Roadhog's non-hook gameplay. Here you can see Roadhog's spread before the update and in this screen you can see the spread after the reduction and it's a little hard to tell but the mark on the wall does look a bit smaller. I proceeded to try shooting some bots in the practice range in both the live and PTR versions of the game and I was noticing that Roadhog's overall effective range does seem to be noticeably higher as it should be in the PTR version of the game. Now my testing process was very informal as I was just shooting bots aimlessly while well, I was aiming at them but I didn't have like a scientific method, but I did find myself noticing a difference. I also tested out the updated Roadhog in a few games of quick play, and again, I felt as though I could feel the tighter spread helping my gameplay. I also ended up pulling off a 16 kill streak, as you're seeing in the background, but I did also have a pretty epic mercy on my team, and overall we played well, so it could just be a matter of luck, but the moral of the story is that this update isn't the end of the world for Roadhog players. One final thing I noticed is that hooking an enemy who is already closer than 3.5 meters to you actually pushes them away from you slightly, which oddly enough allows you to push someone off the edge like I'm doing to this bot in the practice range. So if you can manage to position yourself just right in a real game, you could potentially start throwing people off the edge as a Roadhog, which is kind of cool, kind of different, but it is what it is. We'll have to wait and see what kind of effect this update will have on Roadhog as far as the meta is concerned. It could just be that rather than Roadhog being less powerful now, his gameplay will have to focus a little less on hook gameplay and more on non-hook gameplay. It could be that Roadhog is just not as good, but for my time playing Roadhog in quick play, I didn't feel like he was overall worse, it was just a little bit different. That's all for today guys, and if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I really like seeing likes on videos because, well okay, if you actually enjoyed the video, if you genuinely enjoyed the video, hit the like button because that lets me know if you guys were actually enjoying it. And if you didn't like it, sure, sure, don't like it, but just in general, if you did like it, go ahead and click the button because it lets me know how I'm doing, and of course, if you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel guys. This has been Asal, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.